Hey guys, and welcome back to another Jurassic World Mini Action Dino Blind Bag Opening. So we've got some figures from the second lineup in 2018, and we also have some new uh, figures as well. Um, these ones, obviously, I have reviewed in the past, but we're going to try and make some Stegosaurus herds and see what other cool dinosaurs were in this lineup. And I also have this case in the back, which we'll be opening in a future video, so stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's dig right in to the Wave 2 figures. I got my tiny little scissors. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Just been so busy with uh, university work and whatnot. So we've got a Stegosaurus. Now these ones, um, I really wanted to get a few more of because they've got such a beautiful color to them, very reminiscent of the first Stegosaur figure, um, obviously because these came out around the same time, but if you notice, the Stegosaur figures now do not have paint on their tail, you can see the paint stops, and that kind of sucks, and uh, there was also a re-deco of the figure in recent lines, you can also see no paint on this tail, um, there's no brush works or anything, but on this one you can see, let's try and fix the lighting there, the white brush marks continue along the tail, and it gives it a more natural look, which I like. It's better than just having the tail completely one color, um, where this is more of a natural kind of look to it. Um, so I'm going to probably pick up a few of these. Also. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this darker color on the back, where this one only has the darker color on the plates. Uh, so there's Stegosaurus. Um, I mean, I'd show you the codes, but it's easy to find them online, and <laughs> I don't think these guys are around in stores that much anymore. But we'll take a look at what there is. I think this was one of the more exciting lineups, because we've got Sukumimus, Carnotaurus, what else do we have? Allosaurus is in here. Hopefully I've got one of the Allosaurs. Let's see if we can grab an Allosaurus. I think this one might be another Stego. Yeah, we've got another Stegosaurus. Very cute. I think, isn't Ankylosaurus in this lineup too? What color is that one? Uh, brown. I'm not sure if we've got a uh, ankylosaurus. Fingers crossed for that. Maybe not. I remember I picked up a few and then they were like four dollars each. Oh, no, we've got an ankylosaurus. Nice. I actually like the brown color. They have it going down and they continue it on the tail, on the club. It's an overall nice figure. They've got, I think the brush work on the bottom, the lighter color goes onto the tail. I don't know what's going on with my lighting, it's either super bright or the camera's really dark. There. That's better. So we got an Ankylosaurus, two Stegos. Um, let's try one of these. Gotta make sure it's the right one. Yeah. So let's take a look on what's the newer one. This one's going to seem a little bit redundant, so we've got, is this Grim or Chaos, Limbo, maybe Limbo, I don't know. This is one of the uh, Baryonyx from the trio, and it was the one figure I missed out on. If you guys watched my last blind bag opening, which was, <laughs> I think, like a month or two ago, actually, I bought the whole lineup except for this figure, and uh, now I'm finally getting around to picking it up, which is nice. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, it is included in this set. Oh, and it's almost exactly the same, but I don't mind. That's okay. I like doubles. So we've got, maybe it says on the paper which one it is. Baryonyx. Limbo, yes. And then this guy, I've got the Parasaurolophus here, but I don't know if my friend want me, like, wants me to open it or not. Probably not. I'm just going to feel it and make sure it's the Para. It is the Para. Um, 
Let's pretend I open it. Wow, I opened it. Oh my god, it's the Parasaurolophus. It's one per case figure. So cool. Um, anyways, so this Parasaurolophus is very beautiful. Um, it's got like a shiny effect to it. Maybe it'll show more if I zoom in. I don't know if that does it justice or not. Um, I was hoping it was glow in the dark. I don't think it's glow in the dark. Kind of looks like it should be. Um, but it's probably not. <laughs> I tested that out in my last video, I think. But yeah, it's got that shininess to it. Loving the pink and the purple. Really cool how it's translucent like that. Um, there's also a blue version that's exclusive to this box set. So we got pink. Oh, where are we wandering off to? We got pink and blue, which is awesome. Super cute. And what's next? We got two more of these little baggies. Let's see what's inside. I have a feeling one more Stegosaurus, because why not? And yes, I was correct. We got one more Stego. Aw, oh, so cute. Oh, it's got something on its leg. It's like a darker smudge. I don't know if it's like paint or what. So we got three Stegosaurs now. Oh, I need to get more, actually. Maybe a repaint might look good on those. Um, I was hoping to get more of this Stegosaurus, but these guys, um, I think they're like 6 or $7. They're pretty pricey. Um, but the Wave, Wave 2 ones were pretty cheap. They're like only $4, which was nice, like a fraction of what they are now. Um, so I'll probably pick up more of the old ones. <laughs> They're pretty nostalgic. So here we've got the Allosaurus. It's got a very nice paint job, obviously based off of the toy from the first lineup. Uh, I've got that jaw <laughs> angle going on. I don't think there was ever another Allosaurus mini. It'd be cool to see it in battle at Big Rock style, along with like Nazuda Ceratops. Um, what are the other carnivores? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the next one's Sukumimus. Pretty sure. Hoping. Fingers crossed. Because that's another cool figure. Um, it'd kind of be funny to do a repaint of the... Uh, like, make it yellow. Okay, it is. Um, kind of like the... Dino Rivals version. I think it is. I mean, it was an ugly paint job. The yellow, but... It'd be cool to do it, just because. Why not? Oh my god, that jaw angle. But no, this color was definitely amazing. I'm glad they actually made it a figure and based off of the Jurassic World uh, website paint job. So they've got this nice solid color on the kind of half sail on its back and its neck. They've got like a lighter wash on the body. And overall, it's a lot, it's like pretty proportionate. The tail's very long. The neck's long, head's long, um, but comparison to the Spinosaurus, I think they didn't do a justice on the spinal figure. It's pretty lackluster. I think they added an extra finger for some reason, and maybe its tail was a bit too short. But this was a lot more beautiful, <laughs> a lot better. Like, look at that. Wow. Really good. Eh. Really good. Eh. You know? So, yeah. Um, oh. These sets. I think I have them all except for the Bronto. I mean the Pado. Oh my goodness, why did I just say Brontosaurus? I'm sorry. I mean a Padosaurus. I don't have it. Okay, I gotta look for that one. I mean, by look for it, I guess check online. I'm not sure how to go about finding the rest of the minis. They're probably pretty uh, expensive now online, depending on like their rarity. I'm assuming this one's gonna be pretty expensive to try and hunt down. Same with that one. Yikes. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that unboxing. Again, like, check my channel. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll include it on the end of this video. Maybe not. But, like, yeah, subscribe. Maybe turn on notifications. Maybe wait for me to post that one, because this will come right after this video. So uh, keep an eye out for that. That'll be a fun video. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was pretty fun looking at <laughs> these older figures, kind of unboxing them and seeing, you know, what they're like. Re reliving that old figure uh, vibe, I guess. Because, like, they've got cool paint jobs, cool features, and uh, kind of more neglected. I don't really... I wasn't really big on collecting them back in the day, so I never actually got them all. Um, there was a few waves that never hit Canada. Like, we never got the wave with the brown Pachyrhinosaurus. And I think... What color Postasuchus? It was a blue Postasuchus. And the other color, Parathorelphus. Never picked those up. Uh, kind of missed my chance. <laughs> um, but now I keep up to date, or fairly up to date. I think there's a smaller version of that set that comes with an exclusive Triceratops. I never picked that up. Never did the Legacy Collection ones, which comes with, like, Pachycephalosaurus, which is an exclusive. Should have picked those up. Again, yeah, it is what it is. Um, more focusing on these guys, right? But, yeah, no, very fun. Can't wait to do some photography with them. Maybe I'll bring a few of these guys to my dorm, and whenever I'm walking to school, I can find a bush or something. I don't know. Something fun like that. Um, yeah. So, again, it was great, and uh, I cannot see the time limit on this, so I don't know if it's been 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 20 minutes. <laughs> Regardless. Um, I don't know how to end it. It's been a while since I've done this. Hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Really hope you guys will join me in that one. And we can compare these paras, because they'll look really nice together. So yeah, I'll see you all in that video then. Bye bye